All right, don't overthink this question. It, it may look scary. You got a story here, uh, but this is a really easy question. Just, just kind of follow what it says. Um, it shows the height above ground in meters of a ball X seconds after the ball was launched upward from a platform. Which statement is best interpretation of the mark point one four point eight in this context? So there it is. It's just a random point, and we we are also given the axis labels here. Sometimes they don't give it to us when we have a story. So they, they will tell you in the story, but then you have to kind of label them yourself. But here they just gave us what the X coordinates mean and what the Y coordinates mean. So this means one second, 4.8 meters, right? Just use the units here. So look at choice A. One second after being launched, the ball's height above ground is 4.8 meters, right? It's matching the unit to the number. That's probably gonna be the answer. Let's of course look at the other choices. 4.8 seconds after being launched, the ball's height above ground is one meter. Well, no, that's flipping them, right? The 4.8 is the Y coordinate. The Y unit is meters. So why are we saying now 4.8 seconds, right? That's flipping the, 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 yeah, the story. It's flipping the story. Choice C, the ball was launched from an initial height of one meter with an initial velocity of 4.8 meters per second. Why are we adding complexity? Why do we know the initial velocity? That's not part of the story at all. Now, the initial height is something that does come up occasionally in these types of questions because the initial height is the y-intercept. So in this case, it looks like our initial height is something like, let's say, 3.8, right? So that could be part of some of these questions, but not this one, right? Because that's not the point that they highlighted for us. So that doesn't make sense. And then D, the ball was launched from an initial height of 4.8 meters with an initial velocity of 1.0. So again, initial height is just wrong here. Initial velocity, I don't think is really ever going to be part of this. It's, it's, it does work into the equations in some way, but I think then we're getting too much into physics. So I don't think we're going to see that in these kinds of questions. But for now, just remember too, this is the hard module, but it, it, we're on question number four. So we still have generally medium to easy questions in the beginning of a section. This is literally just reading the units that are labeled, uh, that both the axes are labeled with. So don't complicate these things. The story is not really what they're testing on math. They're, they're testing, can you just follow instructions, read a graph, much more simple things. So don't get caught up in a, in a crazy story.